Scooter, what are you doing, you good boy? Huh? You good boy, old man? How many of you uh, got your Christmas trees up? That is right. Tis the season, the holiday season on huh, Scooter. Tell everybody hello. Tell them you miss them. Huh? You good boy? You watching all them presents? Yeah. We got a cold snap coming in, Scott. Time to get to a go back to Florida. Oh man, you say that. <laughs> Scott came for a month, he's been here now what, like two, two and a half? Two and a half months. Two and a half months. This is our second cold snap of the year. It's probably, what, how cold is it right now? 50-ish? Uh, 50 50s? Eh, it's the winters around this area, about like this. Today we're gonna do something pretty cool. We're gonna give you some updates y'all have been asking for, I've been listening. It's the veterans cabin, it's the zoo cabin, it's some of the things we've been working around here. And uh, we're gonna check in with some of the Characters y'all have been missing around the campground, Chucky and Daryl, and well, we'll see who we can all find. So there it is, the cabin is coming along nicely. You can see the outside, we're using the cedar rail all along here, just like we do in our tree house. I know you guys have seen that in some of our past videos. The side of the house there, that's all cedar that we fell and milled right here. Actually, I say we, Daryl milled all that cedar right there. He has become quite the expert with the sawmill. Coming up the stairs, you'll have a couple posts here, these big, beautiful beams. They'll all be stained up to match. You'll be able to overlook the petting zoo. You can see we got the donkeys and some goats back there. It's locked, but that's, uh, that's a good thing. You gotta go get the key. Look it. This is my goose, Grace. If y'all have not heard about Grace, uh, she's a very unique duck. You hear her clucking? She clucks like a chicken. <laughs> you ever heard a a goose cluck before. So I rescued Grace from uh, a flea market where they were selling her as like a meat bird. She'd been kept in a cage her entire life. I imagine that cage is probably right next to a bunch of chickens. You probably grew up thinking she was a chicken. I got a whole pond full of ducks over there. She won't hang with none of them. She hangs out here with the chickens. Puts them up every night. Puts them to bed. <laughs> Craziest thing. The coolest thing about her is that uh, you know, she, she learned to fly right here at the career. So when I let her out of that cage, I think it was her first time out of the cage her entire life. Tail feathers were all broke off, her beak was all rubbed white from turning in this cage that was entirely too small for her. And when I let her out, she went to step in the water, not knowing it, what water even was, I don't think. She like fell in and then she walked around here for about two months trying to learn to fly. She'd get a little further, get a little further. And eventually that girl made it off the ground. Now she flies all over the campground. Oh yeah. Ooh, I think that duck's got a broken wing. A clucking goose. What do you think of that, Scott? It's pretty awesome. Plenty of animals around here to hang out with. That's for sure. And he ain't talking about all those crazy wild bikers. How are you, Scott? <laughs> well, maybe a little bit. <laughs> maybe a little. Look at all these toys. We do a toy giveaway for kids every year. I think I'm gonna pick up a couple more bikes and uh, every year we hold a party here free for local community to bring their kids. Oh! Good morning. Uh, good morning. Almost good afternoon. You were hiding in the back, Cheryl. Yes, I'm cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you have a key to the veterans cabin? Uh, disabled veterans? Yep. I do not think I do. I know Tasha does. Hey, Tasha, Adam would like to get the disabled veterans cabin key. The other one is with the builder who isn't here right now. I need you to sign a book when you get a chance. Well, let's sign it right now. Who are we signing it to? Uh, Mr. Taylor Boone. Mr. Taylor Boone. Thank you, my dear. Marine Corps veteran. It. Oh, really? Yep. I did not know that. Vietnam. This Vietnam Marine Corps awesome. veteran. Awesome. Oh, my goodness. Amen. Met the other day. Chucky. Are they still here? No, they left. Hi. Oh. What do you do? Oh, you look good, Chucky. I you don't know how to good. fix your hair for us. Oh, okay. <laughs> you look good. You're warm in those bibs, huh? Yeah. Oh, these are nice. You got them. Yeah. Did I really? Yes. Awesome. Oh, yeah. Oh, you did. All right. So, uh, what are you working on today? All right. I'm, I'm going to get boxes, make, get some cedar, uh -huh. and then put in the, put in the boxes. 
Oh, for when people want to start fires. Yeah. Without kindling to get it going. Kindling to get it going. And yep. that's what we're doing. Yep, that's what I'm doing. You're the man, Chucky. Yeah. Have a good day. Thank you, Cheryl. You're welcome. Tell everybody you love them. Or, I love you guys. No, no, no. Thank they you. love you. So just oh. tell everybody hello. That's what I meant to say. <laughs> oh, hello. I love you. I miss and you. Goodbye. Can't wait to see you. Okay, now we've got keys. Victory is ours. Come take a look. It is warm, isn't it? Man, it's nice and warm. So this, my friends, is what the cabin's coming out to be. All this drywall is done. Looks really good. Floor to ceiling, overlooking the campground. Those beautiful windows. We got some tools in here still. Went with a life-proof flooring. So here's the deal. I got a really good deal on some cheap flooring, but then it showed too many waves. This life-proof stuff was twice as expensive but twice as thick and with wheelchairs and everything else, we thought it was important to spend the money. It was actually $2,500 it ended up costing, but I think this floor will hold up forever and be really good for the wheelchairs. What do you think? Really nice, that, that cedar is gonna look really good when everything's done. Yeah, once it's all painted out. Yeah, let's take a look in here. This is gonna be nice. There we go. This is the caretaker's room, could be the family's bathroom, things like that, but all that cedar trimmed out. Really does look good. Oh yeah, look at it. You know what I mean, the natural characteristics of the wood? I really love seeing that. Some more right there. That to me is one of my favorites. That says, we just dropped the tree back down in the woods, put it on the sawmill, and turned it into floor trim. I don't think you could buy anything cooler than that. So this will be the kitchen. It's coming along nicely. Oven will go in, handicap accessible sink. That's why this is all open here, so the wheelchair can get in. We're gonna make countertops that go all the way across here, and then out here. There'll be a big cedar beam across the top here, and now then a big cedar post. We'll go from the floor to the ceiling to kind of tie that in. Refrigerator goes right back here, and of course, you know, uh, that countertop, I think we're gonna try to mill it here on property, which would be good. Coming back here, this is the master suite. Already starting to get some trim. A little closet where you can store the things you need to store. Own separate air conditioner so that you'll be able to control this room separate from the others. That's an important thing because you know a lot of times disabled people have a hard time regulating their temperature. So they'll be able to lock this room down and you know put it to the perfect temperature and never have to worry about it. And this is one of my favorite parts, Scott. What's that? Oh the bathroom. Yeah. Yeah, it's nice. It's coming along really good. So this is the bathroom. That's a roll-in shower, stone floor, handicap. You got the hose, everything you need in this. This tile is really cool. They're like really big squares and they're kind of like a sand, a little bit rough. Super, super cool. I love the way that shower turned out. These are always a nice little touch. USB and outlets. That's nice on either side of the bed and the better look out there. It's coming together. I'm excited. It just feels so big with all these windows in here. I mean, look at that front wall. Yeah, that's nice. And I love this green. I think that green turned out, it's really nice against that cedar. What's that? I said these uh, colors with the uh, black and the cedar, I think is gorgeous. Yeah, I think so too. So here is what started as a storage building and now it's a, uh, turning into this. We got cedar, you know, skirting around it, black with cedar. We're gonna put some cedar shutters on there. Got the log railing done. What do you think? I think it's gorgeous. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Oh, and I, and I love this, Scott. Look at oh, this. Oh, yeah, that's pretty neat, yo. The old biscuit lamp. Can you guys see that? Let's see here, there you go. Let's see if we can get it turned on. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a soft glow. There should be an LED for it. We'll find it. All right, well, welcome inside the petting zoo cabin. Well, it's not done. It is pretty cool. We've got these French doors that go out. You know, you walk through the door, the first thing you see is a welcome sign, and then all the cedar, you know, trim on all the window wells. Really making the woods and nature part of this campground is really one of the things I love most about it. I really do. Over here, if you feed them, they will come. There'll be feed buckets for each, you know, donkeys, goats, sheep. It does have a bathroom. Oh, which is a nice touch. It's not done in there yet. There'll be two bunks. They'll have uh, railings on them much like the front porch. Some other flooring in here. This is, will be the main bedroom. We're gonna be calling this the farmhouse. So we got this, you know, 
the farmhouse. It's going to be a theme. I mean, we're going to start doing, uh, you know, the black against the cedar and the cedar trim. We've got the wood here. We've got the mill. I really think Daryl enjoys milling it. Man, it's just so unique and beautiful. And then out back, you've got the deck, which all this has got to be cleaned up yet. We haven't had this for like customers, but basically you'll sit out here on this deck. I'll have a nice patio furniture and you'll be able to feed the animals right off the back deck of your cabin. It's really pretty cool, isn't it? You did a great job on this deck. Yeah, it's really looking good. That's like a solid. Yeah, it ain't going nowhere. It's a really thick gauge steel, if you can tell. I mean, it's, it's heavy duty. And you'll be able to sit back here and hang with the animals. I know it doesn't look like much back here right now because it's kind of dirty, but once we get it all cleaned up and get some fresh grass planted back here and the animals are coming and going, it'll be cool. It'll be certainly a cool place to have coffee or uh, even a dinner out here would be kind of neat with the animals, feeding them crumbs. A patio set with a table or a picnic table back here. Be able to come back here, have your coffee in the mornings, hang out sunset with the animals. And again, we're not talking about the bikers, Scott. <laughs> Hold on. This is some great weather for, you know, hanging out, you know, camping and enjoying the outdoors. From you know, all the grilling or all the off-road. Yeah, man. You don't want to say hi? The people want an update. Hi. How Everybody. you doing? I'm all right. Yeah? Yeah. Living the dream? Dream, yeah. Yeah? Doing it. Yeah? Out here in beautiful Oklahoma. Is he being sarcastic? I don't think so. So what, what are you uh, up to? <laughs> uh, another wood drying rack for all the cedar we're going through. Ah, that's uh, that's pretty relevant considering we're doing all the remodeling. Mm -hmm. How many cabins are we going to remodel this winter, Matt? I think all of them. You think so? I, yeah, I hope so. Well, you heard the man, and it's it's his call, so I get to remodel them all. Yeah. How many? How Boom. Many? There's six actual cabins. Six so. we're going to remodel. Yeah. yeah. How many are we going to remodel? So there'll be six of them. But we've got seven now with the farm house. Right. And then with the tree houses, that's eight, nine. And with the glamping tents, that's ten and eleven. And then the disabled vet cabin will be twelve. And that'll be twelve. And then we've got a couple campers. Yep. Yeah. Staying busy. Keeps you busy. Are they making trim right now? I think Daryl's making half by four. Half by four? Half by four, yeah. Chuck's cutting up all the scrap. Chucky's cutting the scrap for kindling? Yep. Yep. Daryl, what you making there? It's pieces for the cabins. What size? Whatever size I can get. <laughs> Two inch, four inch, six inch. Whew. Whatever works. And how's the DeWalt working? Is it holding up? We had a rigid, it, it, it didn't last. So we decided to try DeWalt. Kind of hard on that rigid too. We was kind of hard on that rigid, but in all fairness. That's a nice size board. That's like inch thick, huh? Yeah. It makes one by four. All right. So, Matt, can you repeat that for the camera? Yeah, well, I was trying to de describe where this tree was, this, this one that caught on fire. And it's a. Uh, it's down there where Scott got stuck and Adam drove around him four or five, six times. Where I was driving circles around him? I, I don't remember this. You don't remember that? Here, here, let me show y'all. All right, y'all, we are in the Can-Am X3. Daryl's over there in the Kubota. And we are gonna see if we can't get this thing stuck in the K River trails. <laughs> What'd you say, Chucky? Fell into the same rut. <laughs> ah, that's what you do. Yes, sir. A little throttle and big tires. That's all it takes. <laughs> <laughs> all right, y'all. Uh, you got to see the veterans cabin. You got to see the zoo cabin, AKA the farmhouse. You got to hang out with me and my buddy Scott. You see Cheryl, Chucky, Daryl, Matt. I mean, it's actually been a pretty fun video. Hell yeah, it has. <laughs> Well, y'all asked for the update, you got it. I don't know, we'll get you another video out here shortly. I am indeed in the process of planning, riding Mexico. Uh, I'm pretty excited about it. Scott's gonna join me, I believe. You joining me, Scott? Oh, well, hopefully. <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no, no. So we do got those plans going. We got some great motorcycle trips coming at you. I don't know, we'll see you in the next video. If y'all have not yet, please consider clicking that subscribe, following us on our journey here to uh, building 
pretty pretty rad campground if I do say so myself. Surrounded by some pretty rad people if I do say so myself. All right, I'll talk to y'all later. Bye.